women. What are women? No, Matt Walsh, down, down, no, no, get back in your cage, get back in your cage. Depending on who you ask, women are strong, independent, beautiful angels who can do no wrong. Or evil, ungrateful, <laughs> Not me though, I'm not like other girls. Today we are taking a break from my seemingly never-ending research into the male question, and we are talking about women. In my video, What Happened to Men, I talk about femboys. And in this video, I'm talking about... TikTok trad wives. The term trad wife is trending online, fueled by a TikTok influencer who uses the term to refer to herself and how she sees her role in her marriage. This isn't just about personal choice or individual preferences. It's advancing a right-wing political ideology and dressing it up as a lifestyle. Now before we hop into our shiny armor to defend Milady, let's get into today's sponsor. Are you tired of this happening to you? Introducing... Ridge. Ridge wallets are high quality aluminum wallets that can hold up to 12 cards, plus that fat stack of cash you're gonna take out of your bank before it collapses. Ridge wallets are made with RFID blocking technology, which protects you from digital pickpockers. Which will be great when the one world government forces us to rely on digital currency. There's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber, burnt titanium, and my favorite, rose gold. Ridge has over 50,000 five-star reviews, and they're so confident that you'll love their product that they'll let you test it out for 90 days. And if you don't love it, you can return it and get a full refund. So go to ridge.com shoe or click the link down below and enter code shoe at checkout to get 10% off your purchase. Big thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this video and thank you, the viewer, for not skipping the ad. Now let's get back to the video. Oh, happy belated International Women's Day, everybody. Happy Women's History Month, in fact. I didn't even know it was Women's History Month until I saw this commercial from Hershey's. My name is Faye Johnstone. I'm the executive director of Wisdom to Action. We can create a world where everyone is able to live in public space as their honest and authentic selves. See the woman changing how we see the future at Hershey's Canada. Is that really the representation we want for women? Cookies and cream? Disgusting. The other day, this video of TikTok influencer SD Williams absolutely blew up on Twitter. is one of many in the new growing movement of TikTok tradwives. Women who quit their jobs and decide to be stay-at-home girlfriends, wives, or mothers, dedicating their time to domestic chores like cooking, cleaning, and taking care of their family. As soon as I saw this video of SD Williams, I was seething with jealousy. This woman looks like she jumped right out of a 50s Coca-Cola ad. She looks beautiful, confident, happy. Everything the internet hates. So I defended the femboys, and today I'm going to be defending the TikTok tradwives. Both are very different things, but also kind of similar at the same time. Both are exaggerations of femininity and are seen as rebelling against society, depending on where you stand. Depending on which party you vote for, the red satanic pedophiles or the blue satanic pedophiles. Now I happen to support both the femboys and the trad wives. Real controversial stuff happening on this channel, folks. Subscribe for more hot takes like, is mayonnaise too spicy? I think it's cool when people do whatever they want despite how much hate is thrown at them. And wow, was there a lot of hate thrown at this woman. Turns out it's all women can choose to do whatever they want until a woman chooses to do whatever she wants. Over the past few months, there have been dozens of articles on the growing epidemic of TikTok trad wives. Lives, calling them classist, racist, heteronormative, disturbing videos featuring cis white women. Oh no, not cis white women. Articles calling the women insecure, telling them to just do BDSM instead. Articles saying they have no problem with their individual choices. But if this is the age of the trad wife, then I'm ready to die alone. Then die. What do we do, argue with you? I'm not on the debate team, this isn't mock trial. The articles about this were pretty bad but the comments were even worse. Imagine being so scared of chasing your own dreams you decide to sell your soul to a man. Being a slave to a man isn't being feminine, it's being a slave. Please stop glorifying this. Spending every second of your life in service to men is not something to aspire for. If this is what makes her happy, that's great. Looks like she loves her life and I'm ecstatic for her, but it's not condemning housewives. 
but literal male fantasy cosplay, LMAO. So does her husband beat and degrade her? Don't come crying to us girl bosses when your husband abuses you for dinner being cold. Stupid dumb girl who will end up with nothing when he leaves her for another one. I would love to come home from the construction site and slam her head into the fridge door for forgetting to put my beer in there, 1950s style. I would love to grab her by the hair and slam her face into the fridge. Fascist Barbie would need a lot more of that caked up makeup to cover the bruises on her face after I beat her for not having dinner ready on time. Why are they all so violent? These people need to be in prison. Women like this trigger a violent reaction in me. Yeah, we can tell. As far as I know, none of these women are telling people how they should live. In fact, SD Williams is doing the exact opposite. The misconception about the trad wife movement, um, it's not really a movement, nobody's pushing it. People are typically just living it and maybe showcasing their lifestyle like me. And we believe our place, specifically us as individuals, believe our purpose is to be homemakers. There are a lot of people trying to make this a sinister thing or put some other darker meaning behind the term trad wife. Nobody is doing that. We as individuals are just choosing to be homemakers. That's all. Feminism is about personal choice. <laughs> but you chose wrong, bitch! is condemning traditional wives. I'm so tired of these self-proclaimed victims. No one is coming after you. It's all in your head, my sweet aggrieved whites. Inclusion of others does not mean the exclusion of you. Breathe, whitey. It's gonna be okay. Name one person who is condemning traditional wives. I am. Okay, just because someone chooses to live an oppressive lifestyle doesn't make it any better. Gender traditionalism is toxic, period. Doing things for the sake of gender roles or gender tradition is toxic, period. In the end, this only benefits patriarchy. Individual choices do not exist in a vacuum. She's promoting a dangerous slavery mindset to young women. This is not real feminism. Feminism is about the emancipation of all women from the patriarchy, not just some women. Y'all are embarrassing. I love all these people like, nobody's condemning trad wives. And then there's like hundreds and hundreds of comments and articles and videos of people condemning trad wives. Trad wife until their toddler shits on them and their husband of 12 years their senior punches them out for not having dinner ready at 5 p.m. exactly. You realize when you hit 40, your husband is gonna start having sex with one of your teenage daughter's friends, right? You know she's getting it from Tyrone while her husband watches. Writing whole ass fan fictions about a woman they've never met. Oh, I bet she's so miserable. I bet he beats her. Oh yeah, I bet she's cucking her husband for Tyrone. <laughs> Trad wife is when white blonde with big booba. Real trad wives don't have big fake tits. Stupid bitch with fake tits. Every single trad wife account is just softcore porn from women with massive tits. This is giving off OnlyFans vibes. This is a fetish. She says in the video under she chose this life, and she did. It's a choice to be this stupid. You call yourself trad and yet you have big breasts. Checkmate. This right here is pure distilled coom brain. I implore you to step out of your goon cave and get some fresh air, please. Just because you find the woman hot doesn't mean it's porn. Can we stop calling this a fetish? Oh, thank God. Somebody normal. This is a well-documented white nationalist online trend. Oh, God damn it. Trad wife, but she uses social media, lol. If she's such a trad wife, why is she on an iPhone? If she's so traditional, why is she using a cell phone? This sounds like f***ing conservative boomers when they're like, Oh, you're a socialist? How come you have an iPhone? Impossible to be a traditional wife when I'm a male. Hey, that is not true. It is 2023. We support trad husbands and boy wives on this channel. This would be fine if it weren't for all the whiny pick me shit. Nobody cares if you want to cook and have big titties. Go have fun. Imagine being so insecure with your miserable life you have to do some 1950s Nazi cosplay to get any male attention, lol. Did he pick you, sis? Pick me, pick me, pick me. Hope he picks you, queen. This pick me All this woman has to do to get picked is exist. I don't think she needs to make a big spectacle on TikTok to get male attention when she looks like this. Be serious. And also, can we just talk about this pick me shit? Pick me is an insult people throw at women when they aren't towing whatever the current NPC line is. Some of these people calling this woman a pick me have only fans in their bios. You literally financially rely on being picked by men. If men didn't pick you, you'd be out of a job. And I'd have like 5,000 views per video, but... When I do it, it's based. When you do it, it's cringe. I guarantee I can cook better than her. I can bake better bread than her, and my boobs are bigger. I just don't wear ugly dresses and I work for a living. I'm not married, and I certainly wouldn't submit to a husband if I had one. Sorry, I was uh, trying to find your fucking point. I'm actually a lot better and hotter than her, and I'm not married. 
Okay. I want her to peg me. Oh, I don't know how that one got in there. Sorry. I wish America could go back to the 50s when things were simpler. I'm secretly gay. I have polio. I'm not allowed to wear pants or go to college. I beat the shit out of my son and molested my daughter and no one will ever do a goddamn thing about it. I can't get through my day without a shit ton of drugs. Most of those things still happen today. But the being on drugs one is funny because it's like, yes, it's true, women were on a ton of drugs back then. But I really gotta ask like, do you know how many people are on SSRIs? How many people require them to function every day? The sh the average woman is on nowadays would kill a 1950s housewife. I only take my ADHD medication sometimes, but I should be on like four other pills I'm prescribed, but I simply do not take them because I refuse to be a walking big pharma cocktail and my mental illnesses make me funnier. I'm sorry, I gotta say it, but all she's doing is dressing cute and cooking and cleaning. Is that what Trad is? Honestly, I kind of agree with this one. Oh, you didn't door dash McDonald's? You made some ramen noodles tonight? How Trad? You clean the fing toilet? How Trad? You wiped your ass? Trad. I feel like millennials and Zoomers have psyoped themselves to believe basic ass things like cooking food and cleaning the house are traditional. Or even more deranged, white supremacy. Tradwives, sexism as a gateway to white supremacy. A common theme among the haters of our tradwife friends is implying or even outright accusing them of covertly or overtly selling white supremacy to young women. There's nothing wrong with yearning to raise kids, bake bread, and keep a tidy home while your husband brings home the bacon. However, the most telling aspect of the tradwife's hashtag is the other half of the term, wives. Women defined by their relationship to men, from the perspective of men, specifically men of the old, right? Right. The Tradwife's trend articulates not only women's roles over their choices, but also how the manosphere brings together those who feel blindsided by the feminist movement and want to teach women how to take care of their men and give birth to more white babies. This is how sexism functions as a gateway to white supremacy. Men bonding over misogyny and rallying for the white race. So as far as I can tell, none of these Tradwives mention being white or whiteness or any of that. These people are just kind of convinced that's what this is. That these homemaking lifestyle videos are actually a dog whistle, luring people into the alt-right. Like me in 2015 when I said man spreading, and then you went down the right-wing rabbit hole. <laughs> Behind the rise of the online tradwife movement, trad ideology doesn't just extend to the 1950s housewife videos, it also has sinister connections with right-wing extremism, experts say. There was so much of this that even S.D. Williams, the main character of this anime, had to come out and say this. I do not support anything like white supremacy. I don't want to be associated with anything like that. Well, too bad, bitch. The experts are here. Um, it's giving blood and soil. Like, you know? I just think that if I was part of a movement that had a lot of crossover with fascists and neo-Nazis and Nazi culture, I would probably make sure that my propaganda for my lifestyle did not, like, emulate the 1920s and 30s. Just, just how I do stuff, though, you know. First of all, what is this voice? I see you're happy. Do you know who else was happy? Nazi propaganda. This like fake apathy shit is just as performative as putting on a 1950s housewife dress and doing little cosplay on TikTok. Let's be serious for a second. Nobody doesn't care that much. And for the love of God, blend your eyeshadow. The desire to live in the 1950s ignores the reality of that decade. What's wrong with the tradwife trend is that it romanticizes a time when staying in the home and marrying a man as means for socioeconomic survival was mandatory, while women, people of color, and the LGBT community were nowhere near equal. When tradwives glorify this decade, they're glorifying a time that was actually pretty terrible for a lot of people. Oh, so you're a tradwife? Have you heard about a little thing called segregation? I don't believe any of these women want to bring back segregation or like, polio. In fact, there are a lot of black tradwives too. It's like a whole thing. Honestly, this is the most feminist I'll ever say. I believe a lot of this bullying that these tradwives are facing comes from an underlying resentment or internal resentment we have towards traditionally feminine behavior. Let me just slip into video essayist mode for a second. Does society hate femininity? I don't know, I don't think so, but it certainly sees it as weak. You see this, of course, with a lot of the right-wing macho shit. 
Drinking Starbucks is feminine and therefore weak. But you also see it on the left. Or at least the liberal left. Liberal Hollywood, to be exact. And it's being disguised as progressivism. We see this a lot, but the two that immediately come to my mind are Lola Bunny and the green M&M. Okay, yes, this sounds silly, but hear me out. Watching Tucker Carlson's obsession with the green M&M losing her sexy boots was hilarious, but it is kind of weird how the vice president of M&M said they changed up her boots for sneakers to signify empowerment and confidence. There's also Lola Bunny losing her bunny curves. And the director of Space Jam 2 said it was because it's important to reflect the authenticity of strong, capable female characters. So why exactly is traditional femininity, whether it's female clothing or female bodies, seen as the opposite of strong and empowering? Why do women need to be masculine to be considered strong? And it's not just female clothing or female bodies that are considered weak. It's also traditional female personality traits. I'll give you three examples off the top of my head. From the new She-Hulk show. Jennifer Walters has arrived, and she wants nothing to do with saving the world. She's ready to be honest about life, with her newfound powers juggling her career and dating life. To the Snow White remake. Rachel Zegler says she's bringing a modern edge to Disney's live-action Snow White. She's not going to be saved by the prince or dreaming about true love. And even the new Little Mermaid remake. I'm really excited for my version of the film because we've definitely changed that perspective of her just wanting to leave the ocean for a boy. It's about herself, her purpose, her freedom, her life, and what she wants. As women, we are amazing, we are independent, we are modern. We are everything and above. I'm glad Disney is updating some of those themes. There are dozens and dozens of other examples, but you get it. If you've been alive for the past 10 years, you get it. The seemingly unending push of the strong, independent woman who don't need no man, who focuses on herself and her career, who has no time for true love or saving the world, who cares about other people. It's called self-care, sweetie. It's no wonder people see something like this, a woman unapologetically embracing her femininity, not just in style, but in lifestyle. Embracing a lifestyle where she puts her family and her loved ones first, above herself and above her career, it's no surprise people see that and think it's subversive. Because it is. Okay, that concludes video essay mode. I look like a drag queen. There is, of course, another side of this, the conservative side, which believes that all women are just meant to be in the home and that men should do none of the housework, apparently. I do not know how to operate the laundry machine. When my wife said, oh, could you go put the laundry in? I have done it. I have had to ask her to guide me every step of the way. That is not something that comes naturally to men. I'm sorry, but it is very weird that a grown ass man does not know how to do laundry. Apparently he's not even the only one. All right, Drew. Well, this is a trick question because I have not done anything around the house for 40 years. Ben, you answered dishes. Mrs. Shapiro said, I'm not sure Ben knows how to do laundry, so I'll go with the dishes. Ben, your wife is a whole ass doctor and you don't know how to work a laundry machine? What? Now, although I have a more socially libertarian outlook on this than they do, I do actually agree that one parent staying in the home with the kids is the best thing for a family. But my mom stayed home for a while and then they switched and my dad stayed home for a while. And to this day, I have a great bond with both of my parents and I wonder if that is part of the reason why. I was lucky and I wish everyone could be that lucky. Being a stay at home parent is a job and honestly, it should pay like a job. I can't think of a more important role in society than raising the future generation. In fact, this is a major reason of why I consider myself a socialist. I believe culture can trickle down from economics. And I believe certain policies, policies that people like Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro might disagree with, could make it possible to get back to that time where people can raise a family on one income. If someone is able to live that traditional lifestyle, they are extremely privileged to do so. Cause let's face it, men are broke nowadays. There have been several articles about how women are single because they can't find a man who makes more money than they do. Because no matter what women f***ing say, they want a provider. Women hate the wage gap until a mother asks to split the bill. They want someone who can take care of them and take care of their children. Most men can't f do that, they can barely afford to take care of themselves. It is nearly impossible to take care of a family on one income in America today. But why? Some people say it's because of capitalism. Other people say it's because of feminism. 
and some really insane people will say it's a little bit of both. The thing is, feminism has completely failed women. To be more precise, lean in, pink pussy hat, girl boss, neoliberal feminism has completely failed women. Whew. Women aren't fulfilled. Men, for that matter, are not fulfilled. Everyone's depressed, lonely, overworked, atomized, and many people, men and women, are longing for a time that probably will never exist. A time that will probably never come back. A time of economic security, economic growth, community, strong unions, higher wages, affordable housing, racism, lobotomies, back when they put real cocaine in Coca-Cola. Put the cocaine back in Coca-Cola, you cowards. <gasps> Sorry, scratch those last two things. You get what I mean though. When I look at videos like this, I don't see a fetish. I don't see white supremacy. I see escapism from neoliberal hell world. And more importantly, I see someone doing what they want to do and not hurting anyone. There's nothing wrong with choosing to work for your family who loves you instead of a boss who hates you. There's nothing wrong with dedicating your life to something bigger than your next Amazon purchase. In conclusion, Leave the TikTok trad wives alone. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and donating to my Patreon, link down below. We're doing Discord movie nights together every month and it's a whole lot of fun. So I would love to see you there and stick around for the next video. Bye. to do was bake pies all day but some dumb bitch a hundred years ago wanted equal rights so now we gotta learn microsoft excel F you